Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I don't know if this uh, this here kayak is as fast as this critter, but I got a great big giant black rat snake right here in front of me out on my local lake. Another day out on the water and I am lit up excited. It's gonna be like 75 degrees, light winds. It's beautiful. Look at that black rat snake, guys. Is that not the beautiful? It's a big one too. Beautiful, beautiful snake. I'm gonna grab it if I can. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's a little bit too quick right there. Just love showing off these critters. He's a big one. Let's see if I can get to him before he gets to the bank. Look at that thing. He's going to bite me probably. But guys, what do you think? Is that a beautiful big black rat snake? Wildlife out here on the local lake. He's a big one. He didn't come back to try and get me. I thought I'd just show him off while I get out here on the water. Just got out here. I'm going to let him go back to where he's on his way to go. Get back out there, buddy. No, I'm not scared of snakes one bit. That's a non-venomous harmless critter i guess if they bite you there might be a little bacteria in its mouth but that was just a fun way to start the day we're gonna get out here try and get some pre-spawn bass fishing on it's gonna be absolutely incredible the water temperatures right now about four to six degrees warmer than it was last week we've had some serious warm-up and uh air temperatures are like six to eight degrees warmer than they should be this time of year should be about high 68 but we'll be up to about 75 like i said today let's get on it let's see if we can find some pre-spawn bass all the bluegill, all the bait fish, I've seen so much more up shallow than I did last time. So there's gonna be a lot more fish up shallow, I'm convinced. The winds are light right now. I wanted to throw a spinner bait up against this bank, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw this mag draft, something a little more subtle, a little more sweet down this bank and see if we can have something come up and crab it. We've got snakeheads in here. We've got tiger muskie. All kinds of stuff happen out here in the spring and it is a great place to be at this time it's a great place to be all the time any time is a good time to do some fishing but right now the big ones are lurking so let's see if we can get one to come up and eat this big old swim bait while i adjust here to get parallel to the bank which is what i'm doing running this mega bass six inch mag draft in the pearl color the water is just a little bit stained we got a bright sunshiny day but that color is perfect for the conditions right now but so many folks are so curious about the setups uh people run on these things and I'm very proud and very, very happy with my setup. It's a 15 pound test Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon, a Luz Hyper Mag with a 75 to one gear ratio. The rod guys, the rod is absolutely incredible. Zodius rod, a Shimano Zodius and a seven foot one heavy action, but it's a heavy action plus. I don't know exactly what that means, but it has got the most perfect tip rated to two ounces. It's an ounce and a quarter bait. And uh, I do fish a lot of tournaments. I, you know, I'm down at Smith Mountain Lake often enough that that lake is very well known for these uh, type of swim baits under docks. And the shorter rod is absolutely perfect for pitching, skipping, getting this thing in tight quarters. And it's just a dream to fish. So that's my setup for this mag draft. And right now I am just parallel in this bank, going over a little bit of wood and creeping it back at just the right pace to keep that bait doing what it does. As I work diligently to make something happen with a moving bait, I'm going to hit the brakes here and throw into this wood with the Senko. The Senko was the ticket last week, and it is pretty darn calm right now in this spot, so I'm not going to miss an opportunity to throw this thing right up in the wood. See if I can do what I did last week, pop a couple on this little finesse. Green pumpkin wacky rig Senko with a dip chartreuse tail. Just sticking it in the wood and letting it sink. Oh, folks, I got myself my first fish, and I'm really back to the same spot where I was last week. And no brainer, and it's a good one, guys. On the Wacky Rig Senko, I can't get a moving bait, get bit on a moving bait for nothing. This is a really nice fish, guys. First cast right up here, and man, did he smash it. A little bit of wind, but man, I needed this fish. This a That's an absolute beauty. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Let me get him in here show him off i don't think he's going anywhere he's hooked really really well he's got a messed up nose he's definitely been caught before but he's in the boat folks there's the first fish of the day on the wacky rig senko that's the way it goes sometimes it's a transition time right now these fish are trying to move up there's all kinds of things going on so let me get the pliers which i knew i would need i'm a happy camper give me one second i'll get that hook out all right, folks, got the hook out. That's an absolute beautiful way to start the day. Got myself a little pre-spawn fish. He's actually been caught before, but he's doing fine. Going back. I don't think I talked about my setup for my Wacky Rig Senko here last week. It's just a seven foot medium action. 
It happens to be a Shimano X Pride. It's a it's a high end, awesome. And well, when I say high end, it's not crazy G Loomis price point, but it's a really great rod. Real lightweight, real sensitive. I've got 10 pound test braid to an eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. Just a little wacky rig hook. I think it's a trocar with little weed guards and a one aught and a green pumpkin Senko with a dipped chartreuse tail. That's all she wrote. Just sinking it down right next to a piece of wood and some rocks and letting it do its thing. There's another one. There's another one, folks. That was only about two casts later. All right, we got a game on here with this Senko. Not quite as big, but it's still a decent fish. I am not complaining one teeny itty bitty bit. How cool is this? Great way to get it going. Awesome. How cool is that? That's two casts later. Oh, I should have done it from the start, but I, we always want to try and get a moving bait bite, but sometimes this time of year, it just ain't happening. Going back. There we go, number three, folks. Number three, that's awesome. I hate to be cliche, I'll tell you, but I'm fishing with what's working, and it is the Wacky Rig Senko. Go figure, as my autopilot kicks into gear. That happens sometimes when the winds are subtle. It kicks me around. I've not fallen off once. This thing is pegged perfectly. And there we go, number three, another nice little chunk. They're not too bad. They're not too big, but not too small. And I'll take them. There are so many ways to rig a wacky rig Senko, folks, but that's the way I got it going today. Green pumpkin, chartreuse dip tail, Wanot, I believe it's a trocar with little weed guards, but you guys see that clear little band right there? That clear little band is a really cool gig. It's these guys, and I'm sure you've seen them. If you haven't, now you know. So that's the uh, G7 Gamets. The, no, the seven millimeter is what fits the five inch Senko just perfect. You need that little tool. And that little tool right there works like a charm to get that little o-ring around it and uh it is rigged perpendicular it is going straight through i've just caught three fish on the same sinker you know these things are expensive so it's going right through it it's got plenty of action and plenty of durability so that's what i've got going on and what my exact setup here looks like on my senko that i just caught three fish on how cool is that all right back in the water goes the senko there we go that was a little bit of a long distance cast for that little guy there's number four i got number four they're still biting i moved a bit it's been a little bit since that last one but they're still biting that's the smallest one but there's number four fish happy to have them again on the sink going back guys i think i got myself a decent one let's see what we got didn't even feel the bite just lifted up and it was heavy. I don't know what's going up. Decent little fish. Number five. Number five had a bunch of little dinks bite this thing. He's skinny. Oh, here he goes. That's a quick release, guys. That's that's number five fish, but I want you to look at this. That's the same Senko. Five fish, almost five in the boat, and a bunch of little dinky bites on that thing and not a scratch on it. Folks, these little uh, gamut deals or O-rings, there's lots of different options, but those O-rings, depending on how you set them up, you're not getting it perpendicular like that, so it dances the right way. So, testament to that little routine. Let's go get another one. There he is, unbelievable, guys, it got me a bed fish. There it is, that's absolutely the coolest thing. I got myself a fish right off a of bed, did not think it was gonna happen. I'd seen this fish earlier, and uh, it's a decent fish on a drop shot. I put my Senku in there earlier. Biggest fish of the day, too. Right off a of bed. They're up there, guys. Now we know. What do we have here? We have, oh my gosh, does that say what I think it says? 68 degree water tap right here. 68 degrees. No wonder they're up here doing their thing. It's a good one. Real good fish. Don't know if it's a big old buck bass. My guess is that it is because he does not even have a belly on him. So, gosh, can you imagine? This is a big male right here, guys. Big old male. Got my drop shot in his mouth perfectly. Let's see if we can get him in here. To show off the biggest fish of the day, that's a heck of a buck bass right there. Absolutely awesome that he bit. I mean, perfectly nose hooked right there, ready to go right back on the bed. Yep, there he goes, he's doing his thing. So that's a male buck bass and a really, really nice one. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of that real quick and put him back on the bed. All right, there it is, going right back to the bed. First bed fish of the year.
There he is. Got him. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. That's a good fish, too. Hey, I always look so much smaller in the water, but I knew he was about to eat. There's another one chasing him right there. That's the biggest fish of the day. Very fun stuff. Oh, he's beautiful. The colors on this thing are amazing. Gosh, he's got one right behind him trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Good fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fun, fun, fun. And the spawn is on. Look at that one. Isn't that phenomenal? There's plenty of them in there. That might be, uh, I don't know if that's a male or a female, but the colors are beautiful. Perfectly hooked. We're going to get right back on the bed and be good to these fish. Get a couple of pictures. Here we go. All right, big beauty going right back to her bed. It's right there. Well, the lake has come alive up in the shallows. I cannot even begin to tell you how much life I'm seeing from bluegill to crappie to turtles everywhere to bass. I mean, there's bass just cruising all over the place up shallow. And I got a couple of really good beds over there. I've been cruising around just enjoying the scenery. I've done a little bit of fishing, but took a little break got bite to eat now it's about time to get on out of here so i'm looking for a sign out fish let's see if we can find one more fish whether it's on the bed whether i just cast to something and we're going to call it a day it's been a heck of a heck of a day today all right folks i made it back to the boat ramp i've been working diligently to find myself a sign out fish to no avail we're in the early afternoon i had an early morning to early afternoon stand out here on the local lake and it's been absolutely amazing amazing to see those fish up on the beds that's the first round i'm sure and i'm sure i'll be back so as always i appreciate you joining me as always i appreciate you subscribing and until we meet again over and out